Hello and welcome, viewers and subscribers of AVG News. My name is Mkolisi, the son of Nobe. And I am just here to touch base with the goings on within the Citizens Coalition for Change, that is Zimbabwe's mainstream opposition party. You know that there's been a sucker that has been with us for some weeks now, ever since a man who claims to be the interim secretary general of the party by the name Sengezo Chabang recalled members of uh, the party, members of parliament and the senate, as well as councils who were elected on triple C tickets, claiming that they had ceased to be members of the opposition party. And he claims that he is the secretary general on an interim basis of triple C. But members of triple C, especially those who hold offices that uh, have been recognized for some time and those who were elected into various uh, positions in the government uh, or governance system systems of zimbabwe have not uh, vouched for him nobody has vouched for him to say that he is indeed the secretary general of the party he is the only one so far who's come out publicly to say that he is the interim sg of triple c the rest have also have all stayed away from him they've those who have commented about him have actually disputed his acclaimed position but now what we are getting is that having recalled 60 more uh, 69 more local authority uh, representatives of triple c from their respective positions chaba is now seemingly uh, on a mission to fully take over triple c he wants to dispossess uh advocate nelson chamisa of the party completely and what we are getting is that uh the marauding uh claimant of uh the position of secretary general of triple c has now written to government advising them to disperse the main opposition's share of the political party's grant to his uh, stewardship, we are told that he furnished them uh, with the a bank account, a CPZ bank account, where he says they should direct the funds uh, which are meant for triple C, which means that everything that is due to triple C under the Political Parties Finance Act uh, must be directed to that particular account instead of any other which could have been provided by the party or which could have been supplied by the party. And I'm going to read the letter that he addressed to the Secretary for Justice, uh, where he directed that they should give the funds to the account that he provided. It reads, I am writing in terms of Section 3, Subsection 1, as read with Section 3, Subsection 3 of the Political Parties Finance Act, Chapter 2, 33 the request or to request the statutory allocation and disbursement of the funding that is due to the citizens coalition for change triple c party uh, which participated in the 2023 harmonized general election in which it garnered sufficient seats to qualify for the funds accordingly we kindly request your good offices to process and disperse the allocation that is due to our party in terms of of the act uh, so this is what is uh saying that everything that is due to triple c should be directed to a cpz account that he provided which means if this is accepted to by the secretary for justice and the money is paid into this account chabang would have had full control of the coffers of triple c and even those uh mps and senators who forwarded their names or who went to the nomination court using the triple c names if they were to win uh, they would still uh contribute to chabang's well-being or to the well-being of the faction that is behind chabang the triple c faction that is behind chabang so what we are getting here is that he's not acting alone he's acting with the aid of several other uh senior mdc officials who are now in triple c uh plenty of them as we said yesterday that there's a lot uh, of 
uh, fissures within triple C. So he seems to be uh, a, a pawn in the hands of some senior officials of MTC who are now part of triple C, who are aggrieved with the way advocate Nelson Chamisa has been hanging certain uh, issues within the party, but mostly they are aggrieved that they were sidelined uh, both in the party's echelons and also uh, in the elections that were held on the 23rd and 24th of August. So they are complaining that having contributed this far to the party becoming what it is now, they have been sidelined by advocate Chamisa, who has chosen to surround himself with former student leaders. Uh, you will remember that Chamisa is himself a former student leader. So they are claiming that, or they are complaining that he is now surrounding himself with fellow former student leaders and sidelining them because they, he doesn't want to be questioned. They are claiming that they were questioning him on a lot of things that he has been getting wrong. So they are aggrieved that he hasn't been listening to them and many others are saying that they were nominated in the party's primary elections to stand in the harmonized elections on the 23rd and 24th of august but chamisa sidelined them so this is a way of them getting back at him so we are waiting with bated breath to see what is going to be done by the secretary of justice after chabamu's letter has landed uh, on their desk so it is something that is a developing story it's one that we're going to be following but we're also told that chabong is threatened to recall further members of the political party triple c from their different levels where they uh, where they were ele elected uh, into public office he doesn't state why uh these people uh have ceased to be members of the opposition party he doesn't state how they ceased to be members of the opposition party and he doesn't state uh, who actually decided that they have ceased to be members of the opposition party so this is what we have for you right now we'll continue to update as usual but for now please don't forget to subscribe to this channel like this video and share it uh as i've said it's a developing story it is one that we are following with keen interest because it affects the manner in which zimbabwean politics has been known for a number of years in which the zimbabwean politics has been uh known for the past few months after the elections as well and it changes the whole dynamics uh, of triple c it also changes the whole dynamics uh, of zimbabwean politics you'll remember that triple c is still adamant that the elections in zimbabwe were not free and fair they are adamant that they won the election although they are not providing any proof as of now they are also adamant that the zimbabwean election or the zimbabwean political issue the issue of zimbabwean politics the deadlock that is uh, still persisting the log jam that has stayed with us since the announcement of the results of the 2023 elections is still in the SATC agenda there are conflicting reports as to whether or not the SATC um, recognizes the presidency of president emerson nangakwa and the government that is being led by zanu pf because triple c is disputing the results of the election it is again something that we are continuing to follow we have been uh talking to the search and they've asked us to email whatever questions that we have and we have since done that once they've responded we'll come back to you here and inform you because there are conflicting reports as to whether zimbabwe is still on the such agenda and some people are saying that there has been a team that has been dispatched to harare to negotiate a, a fresh election or a gnu between triple c and zanu pf and they're saying that this team is going to land on the 19th uh, of november it is something that we also inquired uh from such once they have responded to us we are going to come back here and inform you you will remember that we are a channel that always seeks to tell people the truth as it is we report factually so please enjoy the rest of your day